students welcome to the next lecture of electronic measurements and instrumentation my name is tss nagapavan kumar today we will see the concept of solid state voltmeter today we will see the concept of solid state voltmeter first we will see oh, the definition of solid state meter voltmeter solid state voltmeter is designed using semiconductor devices so present day we are using most of the voltmeters are completely based on the solid state voltmeters which will give a very high amount of accuracy and precision so these uh, solid state voltmeters are designed by using a uh, lot of semiconductor devices like uh, op amps transistors and diodes so wherever there is uh, voltmeters are completely manufactured with uh, op amps transistors and diodes op amps is op amp is a directly high coupled very gain very high gain amplifier so here we are using a very high gain amplifier which will give more accurate information about the voltage measurement and here we are using some diodes two diodes we are using these two ir diodes we are using for the protecting the complete circuit present day all the voltmeter circuits we are getting in the form of an ic so for protecting that ic why because here uh, why we have to protect the ic means we have lot of fluctuations in the measuring variables so from this measuring variable when we are measuring that variables then we have to reduce this fluctuations for reducing this unwanted current flow or voltage flow we have to use some protection network for protecting our circuit we are using two diodes in forward and reverse bias those details now we will see first we will see the circuit diagram so this is the complete circuit diagram for the uh, solid state voltmeter so this is a solid state voltmeter circuit diagram so this complete diagram i am dividing into two categories the first one this is the first part this is voltage divider network where we can select multi ranges of voltages that means we can connect the voltmeter with 0 to 10 millivolts or we can connect this voltmeter working like 0 to 100 millivolts measuring purpose otherwise we can do that is 0 to 1 volt voltage range or 0 to 10 volts range or 0 to 100 volts range we can construct that means we can convert this multi uh, this voltmeter as multi range that is 0 to milliamps or 0 to millivolts or 0 to volts 0 to 10 milliamps 0 to 100 milli so sorry 0 to 10 millivolts 0 to 100 millivolts 0 to 1 volt 0 to 10 volts 0 to 100 volts this is the voltage ranges we have taken in this uh, uh, circuit diagram and coming to the second part this second part is nothing but as op amp connectivity part this second part is op amp connectivity part in this part here we have an op amp here we have an op amp in a circuit in an ic circuit in a integrated circuit here we have two diodes see here here we have a two diode concept here we have two diodes and here we have an op amp this op amp is connected with the native feedback to the terminal 2 of that op amp that means the, the op amp output terminal is 6 and the op amp input terminal is 2 these two terminals are connected with the feedback of r3 r4 resistances and here we have uh, two more rc combinations at the op amp uh, in between the 6 and uh, uh, 2 terminals that is 0.1 microfarad capacitor and 100 kilo ohms resistor uh, parameters so this is about the construction details of the this is about the construction details of this uh, circuit diagram of solid state voltmeter of the solid state voltmeters next so coming to that in detail about this uh, 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 solid state voltmeter coming to that the first point an electronic voltmeter using an ic several op amp 741c is a directly coupled very high gain amplifier basically this ic 741 op amp which we are providing in this solid state voltmeter is a basically it is a high gain amplifier there is no necessity of adjusting the gains the gain of the op amp can be adjusted with a negative feedback between its output terminal pin number 6 and inverting input at pin number 2 
So in between pin number 6 and 2, where 6 is the output, 2 is the inverting input. That is the inverting input. That is a minus symbol. So in between this, we have connected this negative feedback circuit. Next, the ratio of R2 by R1 determines the gain uh, that is 101 in this uh, case provided with this op-amp. In this case, we are using R2 R1 resistors. So here, R, this is the R1 resistor, this is the R1 resistor and this is the R2 resistor. This R2 by R1 ratio, the R2 by R1 ratio will give the gain of this op-amp. In this uh, combination, the gain is 101. Next. The 0.1 microfarad capacitor, so this is the capacitor, 0.1 microfarad capacitor uh, across the 100 kilo ohm resistance, uh, RP is for stability and the straight pickups. So for stability purpose, we are using this capacitor and we can eliminate the internal straight capacitance values with this capacitor. Okay, right. So this is about, we have to reduce the stray fix for the reason we are using the capacitor. Okay, next. Next. So coming to here, uh, the remaining parameters, terminals 1 and 5 are called half set null terminals. So terminals 1, so this is the terminal 1 and this is the terminal 5. So these two terminals we are calling as half set null terminals. So that is the first one. A 10 kilo ohm potentiometer is connected between these two half sets uh, null terminals with the center cap connected to a for my uh, 5 volt supply. So see here, here for, uh, we have provided a 5 volt supply. This 5 volt supply we are connecting to first 1 and 5th terminals by using a potentiometer network. So this potentiometer, by adjusting this potentiometer, we can supply some limited amount of voltage to the 1 and 5 terminals, to the half set terminals. The potential limit is called zero set and is used for adjusting the zero output for zero input conditions. Why we are using this potentiometer? This potentiometer is used to help to get the output as zero value when there is no input in the condition. So this is the very important situation. Most of the circuits, we are, if you are not connected the input also, you will get some output readings. For avoiding that, we are using this potentiometer in between the half set terminals, this in between this half set terminals. So this potentiometer, by adjusting this potentiometer, we can fix the meter reading is zero when there is no input. The two diodes are used for IC production. So here we are using these two diodes. These two diodes we are using IC production. Whenever any excess amount of voltages are occurred at the non-inverting terminal of this uh, op amp, then we can reduce that. Uh, then we can uh, uh, bypass or we can discharge that voltages through using this diode network. So see here how that will be done. You, under normal condition, they are non-conducting as a maximum voltage across the 10 millivolts. So, when we are operating this circuit, in the normal conditions, these two diodes are not going to be in the conductive state. Next, if any excess voltages say more than 100 millivolts appear across them, then depending upon the polarity of the voltage, one of these diode, diodes are going to be conduct and it products the IC. If more than 100 millivolts voltage is coming, then this op amp is going to be damaged. At that time, these diode, two diodes at that particular situation, maybe uh, any, any one of these diode is going to be in the conducting state and it will protect the IC based on the polarity of this supply. So more amount of information, more amount of voltage is there, uh, uh, the positive voltages are available here and the negative voltages are available in this side, then this diode is going to be in the conducting state, uh, otherwise it, uh, this diode will be going to be conducting here in the second situation. So whatever it may be in any situation, these two diodes will protect the complete IC. Next, a milliampere scale of 50 to 1000 milliampere full scale deflection can be used as an indicator. Here we are using an indicator. This is a indicator. At this indicator, we can use 0 to 1000 milliampere range. 0 to 1, sorry, 50 to 1000 milliampere range voltages we can use here. Right. So this is about the solid state voltmeter. Most of the times the solid state voltmeter is not going to be failed in any type of situation with the help of the IC production network which is formed with the two diodes in the reverse conditions. You know, uh, each, each, is, uh, each diode is reversed to the other another diode and this will helpful uh, to predict the 
total circuit or to protect the op amp so this is about solid state voltmeter thank you